So people have been telling you that you have to put nose weight into your nose cone. What the heck does that mean? And how do you do it? That is what I'm going to cover in this video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to show you how to put nose weight into your nose cone. Um, the reason to do this is to move the center of gravity forward on the rocket. So say you have a rocket and you balance it on your finger like this and always balance it with the rocket motor installed. This one doesn't have a rocket motor, but you should always balance it with the rocket motor installed. So basically you balance it on your finger and the center of gravity where it balances must be ahead of the center of pressure. Finding the center of pressure is done with software like our RockSim software where you can get it at ApogeeRockets.com. Uh, once you figure out where your center of pressure is, the center of gravity always must go in front of that. And if the rocket is, if the balance is too far back, or too far forward, uh, sorry, if the balance is too far forward, you have to put nose weight into the nose cone. Now nose weight can be anything, but typically I like to use uh, modeling clay because it's cheap and because it can be easily deformed and I like things that can deform because it um, it absorbs energy should the rocket crash. So basically what we want to do is to take some clay and put it into the nose cone. Now if you look at the back end of the, the nose cone um, it's got a little hole but that little hole is not big enough to put the clay in. So typically I take a drill and I just drill oh my drill is given out <laughs> okay so if your drill gives out uh, take your hobby knife and just cut a hole into the base of the nose cone like that okay uh, big enough to where you can get a wood dowel in there because what you're going to do is just take the clay roll it into a snake like that so we can go into the hole slide it into the hole like that and then just take the wood dowel and smash it down To the nose cone like that and that's pretty easy isn't it now sometimes um, you need a lot of nose weight um, and in that case you need to use something that has a higher density speaking of what you're probably wondering what this bulb is here on the nose cone this is a canopy that we sell at Apogee Components um, in one of our previous videos I showed you how to put it on and I'm using that same nose cone so but anyway getting back to uh, adding nose weight um, if you need more nose weight, you can go out and get some BBs, and you can also use lead shot, which has an even higher density. And you can pour that into the nose cone. So, so I got some BBs. And I'm just putting them into the hole. And yeah, they're rolling around. That's okay. Okay, but now they're rolling, they're uh, sloshing around in there. Um, so what I like to do is take some epoxy, and I've mixed up some epoxy here. And uh, I'm going to use some rubber gloves because this is going to get messy. Alright, now when you do this, you use a paper cup. And then you smash the paper cup so you can pour easily. And you just pour the epoxy into the hole like that. Alright. You can see that epoxy went all the way down those BBs and they're not rattling around anymore. And that holds those BBs in, in place. So. But what you have to worry about with epoxy is it's exothermic. Exothermic means that 
as the reaction is occurring, it's generating heat. And sometimes some epoxy can get really hot and it can deform the plastic on the nose cone. So what you do at this point is you get a bucket of water and you just set the nose cone in there like that and the water will absorb the heat uh, keeping the plastic from melting. I don't have a bucket of water here, but I'm sure you can imagine how to do that. So it's pretty easy to add nose weight to a rocket. Um, if you need help, you can always contact us at Apogee Components. So um, if you like this video, uh, somewhere, if you're watching it on YouTube, somewhere down there, there's a little like button and a subscribe button. Go ahead and hit those and also leave a comment. We like to read your comments. Um, and there's going to be some uh, other videos um, being shown after this one. Go ahead and click on those so you can watch those. And uh, my name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Uh, our website is www.apogeerockets.com. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly tr straight and true.